Remember how the 39-year-old G-Wagon began its life as a rough and tumble off-roader for the German military and utility companies before finding an improbably second, really profitable life as a luxury machine? Remember how they stuck VAS and B12S inside it, made it somehow mostly stick to the road in a way Land Rover insisted just wasn't possible with the similarly elderly, boxy Defender? Well, none of that is happening this time around. Instead, they're just going full luxury from the get-go, because that's how just about every Galandi Uigen, its German name, ends up being sold, anyway. The interior will have plenty of signature pieces, but it will be more closely aligned with the S-Class limousine than with something geared to be hosed out on Sunday afternoon. Benz has a twin-pronged attack at the top end of the SUV tree, with the G-Wagon and the Monocoque GL approaching a similar price point from very different directions. There's also talk of a long wheelbase Maybach version of the new G-Class, and both V8 G63 and V12 G65 versions are inevitable from AMG. It will need every big SUV it can lay its hands on, too. Bentley has dented Benz's door with the Bentayga and has an even larger Falcon on the way, plus Lamborghini's Urus is about to arrive, BMW has privately shown the X7 and has registered the X8, X9, iX7, iX8, and iX9 names. Meanwhile, Range Rover is looking to stretch even further upmarket.